Hi, welcome to Hope With Answers. My name is Lisa Bonanno and I'm a patient advocate. And we're here today with Dr. David Carbone. Great to be here. And we are going a little bit deeper into uh, information on ROS1 positive cancers. So um, we know that TKIs don't work for us forever, unfortunately. At some point, um, you are likely to have progression. So once that happens, what is the best way to determine your next best treatment option? So just for clarification, a TKI is an abbreviation for a tyrosine kinase inhibitor. Thank you. And those are drugs that specifically target alterations like uh, ROS1. So the, the, um, these drugs work for a period of time, um, but often uh, the tumor becomes resistant to uh, these drugs. And I think at that point, when there's, there is growth of the tumor, it depends on uh, how many sites of tumor are growing. Sometimes if you start out with 20 spots of cancer, only one of those will start growing. Mm -hmm. And so it's now state of the art, rather than abandoning the drug, the current state of the art is to continue the drug and treat the spot that's growing with a, a radi stereotactic radiation mm -hmm. uh, treatment. But if it's, all 20 that are growing, then, then you have to start thinking about other options. And how do you determine um, what that treatment is if, if I do have progression and all of a sudden I, you know, I have these 20 spots, how do you determine which direction to go with your treatment? Yeah, first of all, you don't have progression. Your tumor progresses. Thank you, and, yes. <laughs> and the tumor, and you didn't fail your treatment. The, the treatment failed you. But the tumors figure out ways to avoid these drugs in different ways. Uh, so I do think it's important if there's multi-site progression to get another biopsy, Great. to look at the genetics of the tumor after the treatment, the tumor that's become resistant to mm -hmm. the primary therapy, because there are certain new mutations that tumors acquire in, the, in order to avoid this initial treatment. And some of the new drugs coming down the line that are approaching approval or in clinical testing now are designed to target alterations, these, these resistance alterations. Mm -hmm. And so it may, you may find that you're eligible for a clinical trial of one of these new drugs that gives you a second uh, shot on goal in terms of response uh, for these, uh, these types of tumors. And then there's always uh, other standard, more standard options, such as chemotherapy mm -hmm. uh, that can be tried afterwards. But I would first investigate the features of the tumor that made it resistant so that you might be able to intelligently target those okay. and clinical trials uh, availability. That's great. It's nice to know that there are options out there when that happens. And thank you so much for taking a potentially very complicated, um, you know, information and making it so understandable for us. So well, you're very welcome. There are more options now than ever. Absolutely. A lot of reasons for hope. So thank you for joining us on Hope With Answers.